Hello again. Um, as you can see, we've cable tied, tidied everything up, um, all the axes, all of the X, Y, um, Z um, end stops, the emergency stop switch is fitted. Vital bit of kit that used it once already. Ha. Um, the fan is still doing its stuff ultra quietly. Um, these down here, the stepper drivers are the little boards on the top of the um, uh, subframe um, are um, rated at 2.5 amps. Um, the NEMA 17s run um, at maximum of 1.7 amps. Um, so they when these boards arrive they they come preset seem to be come to preset maximum current um availability i th i think for obvious reasons people use them for uh, uh, the limits um anyway they run very hot um and they have been running very hot hence the fan um which is apparently ma mandatory um and um but they just needed adjusting because they don't need to drive that much so i adjusted them just now and the result was pretty good this is a test program here which you can't really see um i'll just run that here and this um this draws a circle on the um in in midair basically it's actually running the the z axis down as you can see at the top there it gets to a certain point and then it starts to draw a circle which makes lovely noises as the axes turn great isn't it I have seen a program where they've actually got the hello Alfie um, where they've actually got the stepper motors running at different speeds to, to play a tune. This sounds like a, some sort of World War II bomber. It's pretty damn good. Um, but it's running really smoothly even with the lower um, voltage reference uh, on, the, um, on the chip. So um, that drives and it's much, much, much cooler. In fact, it's not even, not even warm. Um, so that was the problem with that. And just to show that this works, emergency stop. <laughs> uh, brilliant. And it comes up on here, emergency stop. So that's that done. Right. Okay. So we are ready to do some cutting, which we'll probably do today. A bit of engraving, maybe with a pencil first. Um, just to check, make sure it's all working fine. But there you go. All axes tested, all running on G-code, all seems to be working fine at the moment, touch wood.